everyone. Welcome back to Outdoors with the Squatch. Hey guys. Oh, it's getting sloppy out here. I want to get this pile of brush over here moved <laughs> out back. Still got a little bit of ice and snow, but we're losing the battle. That ground's getting soft. We're going to employ the everything attachments. Uh, wicked root grapple today, guys. Look at this thing, huh? You've seen it before. But this is going to be our uh, weapon of choice today. You guys have seen this. Here, check this out. I don't know, guys. What do you think? I know this much. I don't. <laughs> I don't think that's exactly the kind of thing I'd want uh, hunting me down. Mm, no, probably not. are going to see plenty of this and have <laughs> figured I might as well share a few more of the details maybe some of you folks are more curious about it uh, want to really know what it is uh, especially folks with tractors you know maybe in the market for a grapple um, we'll look at the construction here and then we'll, we'll talk about it a little bit nice thick tines guys um, hmm Certainly not something you'd want clamping down on you, I don't think. <laughs> so, this is, as mentioned, the uh, EA Wicked Root, 66 inch Wicked Root grapple. I never measured it, I'm just kind of curious. Is it six? Well, that can't be. Ha! 66 and three quarters, guys. They gave me a three quarters of an inch for free. What's the, what's the odds of that happening? You get more than you you buy, you know? <laughs> but, so we're just over 66 inches. Meets that criteria. 43 and a half inches from uh, point of this time to the point of this time, which would be your widest gap. So yeah, just shy of four foot opening. Not horrible. Um, I can tell you it'll, <laughs> you get this thing around some stuff now, guys. This thing's got some beef to it. Um, I'm gonna tell you this right now. I mean, you, there's a hundred companies out there making grapples, guys. You can get plenty of them made in the U.S. You get them made in China, Taiwan, um, you know, South Korea, you name it. Um, this one's built in America. North Carolina, I wanna say. Excuse me if I'm wrong about that, but I think it is North Carolina. Um, this is my second EA attachment. I also have the box blade. Very happy with that as well. Um, I've had this one for three years. I think they've uh, changed the design here a little bit um, at the end of these tines. I want to say, I haven't looked. You know, uh, this grapple works great for me, but I do think they've updated it uh, since, like I said, I've had it three years. I think they did something these tines. They uh, tout some kind of laminating thing where they've strengthened them. 
Man, I don't know who in the heck could have been it, what they would have hit. <laughs> I probably should admit it, guys. I have pushed over some pretty good sized trees with this thing. <laughs> when I was in a hurry. Shh. Tell no one that. I haven't been it yet. Right. I Yeah, use your head. seven inches there guys if we look up at the tines up at the top of the lid they're a little thinner at their thickest point they're about four and a half inches it looks like um, understandable um, the base of this thing guys is designed to go ahead and dig into the ground right they call it a wicked root grapple hence you can tear roots out of the ground with it right <laughs> I think that's kind of what it is and it does do that. We could get into the discussion of what's better um, here too, if you'd like. So do we tickle the subject and the great debate of, uh, you know, which grapple's better, you know, dual lid, long bottom, short bottom, I mean, do you want to go there? <laughs> I don't, <laughs> not with a 10 foot pole. What I will say is this, guys, uh, there's a million opinions out there, right? Look at what you're using it for and, and think about it, think about the geometry of it and, and what, yeah long-term goals are with it what you need it for and make your decision from there you know in my particular circumstance guys um the short bottom single lid grapple was going to suit me better i think i'm of the opinion it would for what i'm doing today moving the loose brush i, I dual lid uh you know long bottom grapple probably better um but i had to look at things uh you know these implements they don't give them away they're not cheap um <laughs> and you know if you're in the market for one you know that so you best do your uh, due diligence and really do your research and really think about what it is long term your goals are with it. Um, because again, it's a sizable investment. You might as well get the most bang for your buck. Hey, if you got the pockets, buy both. <laughs> you know, this guy right here, he's got a single lid grapple and he's keeping it and it works just fine. So you make that decision for yourself. Um, I will tell you with mine, uh, the amount of digging around in the earth I've done, one reason why I went with the low, uh, short lower tines was that. Um, I think it's a little less uh, stress, if you will, on your loader. As anyone knows, the further away from your uh, connection point with your uh, loader mechanism, uh, the, the less capacity you have, right? So keeping it tucked in tight is never a bad thing. Um, so that, that was one reason. If I was just moving loose brush, guys, and that was it, I, I, I'd have gone to the long bottom all day long. Um, but m ripping out tree roots, small trees, uh, briar patches, things of that nature. This thing, you can sink this thing a few inches down in the ground, guys. Anything it comes in contact with, it's going to pop it like a daisy. 
So, uh, for what it's worth, you know, it just makes sense for me. So, it's that simple. But uh, if you can buy American, do so. This is built in North Carolina. EA, I think, is out of North Carolina. Um, you pay a premium for it. There ain't no doubt about that, guys. But I think long-term investment-wise, I mean, uh, again, I, I'm going to use this thing for as long as I have a tractor and this property or any property. I, uh, I'll i be using this. It, it does come at wooded property, right? <laughs> it comes in that dang handy. Work a 20-man easy. I can't even begin to tell you. So, do your due diligence. Do your research. Um, pick the one that suits your needs best, uh, budget-wise. If you're not going to use the thing a ton, guys, I wouldn't probably... I would consider this, uh, the EA Grapples, to be on kind of the upper end of things as far as cost goes. Um, they think they build a better piece of equipment. I'm happy with it. Um, they charge a premium for it. The materials and the American workers cost more. So the grapple, understandably, does as well. So you've got to kind of decide, okay, for me, the rest of my life, I'll have it and I'll use it. I can spread that out over that time and justify it. If I wasn't going to use it very often, guys, meh, probably wouldn't spend that kind of money. You know, your choice. Good luck. <laughs> Don't 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 go trolling around and arguing on the internet though. You're not gonna you're not gonna sway anyone, I don't think. guys I think it's uh, for the most part cleaned up I see I missed one log in there uh, get in there with some rakes you know finish it up that way I think so but yeah as a whole I'm pretty happy with it I think so but hey I hope you enjoyed today's video guys um, any questions about that grapple feel free to ask uh, I enjoy that kind of stuff so any comments you want to leave or questions you might have ask away if you're shopping for one guys uh, Good luck. <laughs> you know, lots of opinions. But uh, I think no matter what you get, uh, you'll be happy with it, Price. So. But hey, hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Until next time, you stay happy out there.